a once obscure trend relegated to the eco-friendly hippie houses of the wine world is now making its way mainstream. Here's what you need to know about biodynamics. Let's go. What's up, wine speeders? Amanda McCrossin here from at Sombivant, here to talk to you about biodynamics. To call biodynamics a trend or a fad in the wine world would definitely incite a few snickers. Biodynamics has been around for almost a century now, and the philosophies upon which it's predicated have been around for even longer. In fact, several of some of the most esteemed wineries in Europe have been practicing biodynamics for decades now, including Lefleve, Loire, and Huey. But the movement is making a global impact and we're seeing it now more than ever here in Napa Valley at some of the most premium wineries like this one right here, Rudd Estate in Oakville. I'm gonna take you around to a few biodynamically farmed wineries right here in Napa Valley and give you a sneak peek and a glimpse at what it actually looks like in action. But first, let me give you a little bit of insight about what biodynamics actually is. Generally speaking, biodynamics is sort of seen as an extension of organic farming wherein no chemicals are actually used on the vines, but the entire vineyard is looked at as part of a whole ecosystem. You can think of it as sort of a holistic approach to farming where you look at the whole package behind you, everything from the trees to the wildlife to the soil, everything is taken into account when you're treating the vines and treating the property as a whole. Farming biodynamically takes an enormous amount of effort and mindfulness you're far more likely to see things like livestock, sheep, bees, cows, chickens, things like that roaming the vineyard to keep it nice and healthy. I headed to Red Estate early one morning to get a glimpse at what it actually looks like to do one of the spray preparations called the 501. Good morning, I'm here at Red Estate. It is bright and early when I arrived, it was pitch black. And now we are dynamizing inside here with uh, some baby lambs, which isn't normal protocol, but it certainly makes for a more fun and cute experience. So follow me, we're gonna go inside and um, you're gonna see a little dynamizing, let's go. I'll start vortex on this and then um, once I get the vortex, you wanna pour that kind of slowly in. And just gonna kind of stir for an hour and every minute we change direction. Now what's in here? This is the 501, so it's the horn silica. Mm -hmm. Here at Isley Estate, which has been biodynamically farmed for quite some time now and organically farmed uh, since the late 90s. A really, really impressive estate. Now owned by Chateau Latour up here in Calistoga. It is absolutely spectacular. I am obsessed with this vineyard. It's so funny when I think of all the places that I've wine tasted and, and the wineries that have been biodynamic, I definitely just don't think of the high end luxury estates like Isley and Rudd and Larkmead and all of these amazing places that have all the bells and whistles of a great luxury winery uh, farming biodynamically. So it's really, really exciting to see this kind of change and this kind of shift in not only Napa Valley, but the wine world in general. I think it is incredibly exciting to see a diversity of how people are farming here in Napa Valley and around the world. I love seeing a more holistic approach. I love the fact that the wines are tasting better and better as a result of it, and I hope to see more of it in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon.